Hey folks, Bobby Jean here. You know, as we move through fall towards winter, we are being presented with some beautiful weather and it makes it absolutely irresistible to want to get out on your bike and enjoy your favorite trails or your parks or even just run through downtown and have lunch at a bistro. Now, something you may not anticipate and certainly we don't want to happen is the dreaded flat tire. Now here you can see I'm standing before my very own Hemingway Cruiser and this may not be your first bike but it may be your first fat tire bike. Now, something to keep in mind when it comes to fat tires is depending on what your air pressure is and depending on what the overall total cargo weight is placing weight down on those fat tires will impact exactly how big of a footprint you are leaving on the surface that you're riding on. The bigger the footprint, the more area you're riding on that has more things that you can run over to possibly cause you a flat tire. So what are some of the steps that we can take to prevent fat flat tires on beautiful days like this? Okay, so the first thing is before you head out, take a good look at your tires. Give them a once over very quickly for any debris that may be lodged in the treads. As we know, the fat tires have their kind of a knobby tread here and they can easily pick up thorns and twigs, plastic, broken glass, and things that are lying in between the knobs or in the grooves of the tread. Now at the moment, it may not be penetrating into the inner tube. But if you go out and you ride for a few hours, there's a good chance that you can press and work that in through the rubber exterior of the tire and into the inner tube. So give it a once over, knock and brush everything off. Make sure you don't have any sharp objects that are stuck to your tire. Me, I do this when I'm finished riding at the end of the day before I put the bike up. I give the tires a once over. It's one less thing I have to worry about doing before I head out next time. Number two, now there are three primary places that a tire can go flat. The surface contact area, the sidewall, and inside the inner tube that makes contact with the rim. Why? Because you have parts that come into that rim from the outside, such as your valve stem, and you have all of these spokes which come into the rim, into the inside of the tire. Something you run over can penetrate the tube from the surface contact side, and the sidewalls, should you run over something and it flips up and punctures the side of the tire, which has happened to me. Now you can do this or you can take the tires off, drop them off at your bike shop and ask them to do it. Look at there, look, there is a thorn sticking in that tire. If you're, now, if you're so inclined, you can do this yourself or you can take your tires off and drop them off at the top of the bike shop next time you're there and have them go ahead and put in some rim liner tape that fits down inside the rim and creates a barrier between the inner tube and the rim. The tape is made out of various materials and different sizes. Anything that creates a nice barrier, protective barrier between the rim and your inner tube on that particular part of the surface. Take an old inner tube, cut it in half circularly, and lay it over the existing inner tube, and it creates another layer of protection between the outside of the tire and the inner tube. Another prevention step are silicone sealants. I recommend the slime version. This has been around a long time. Even if you don't have this immediately in your inner tube, you can use it later if you have a flat to fix your inner tube. Now, if you don't want to invest in a luggage rack bag, such as this one or side bags, you know, maybe carry a fanny pack or a backpack with you that has some of the basic things that you're going to need while you're out on your ride, such as a lock or an air pump and some tire protection. Should you have a flat tire incident, you don't have to let it ruin your day. It comes with this handy multi-tool here on a key ring that has a tire tread measurement edge detector on it and two different fittings, whether for a Schrader or Presta valve stem removal tools on either end. It comes with a very small, compact little tire pressure gauge. This is a metal scuffer should you want to rough up your inner tube and place one of these included patches. It comes with more of these little valve cores and valve stem caps. And finally in the kit are instructions on how to use all those aforementioned tools. And lastly, a small compact tire pump. I use this guy all the time. You can find these anywhere. It has a built-in tire pump gauge. When you release this handle, it allows the pneumatic plunger to extend and the handle becomes a footrest to hold the pump in place. 
Now the Kenda tires that come with the Hemiway bikes are great tires. They have a great reputation for being really dependable and reliable. However, if you know you're going to be an avid rider logging many miles through the cities and trails everywhere, you might want to consider upgrading your Kenda tires to a tire that has a greater level of puncture resistance built in. Now if you head over to the Kenda website, there you will find a huge selection of awesome tires that come in various ranges of built-in tire protection. Finally, where you ride has a huge impact on increasing the chances of you getting a tire puncture. Constantly scan the surface that you're riding on about another bike length ahead of you so that you can plan to avoid obstacles that could possibly cause a tire puncture. One of the biggest rules is no gutters. So if you're riding through town, try to avoid riding in the gutters where the rain and the other vehicles pass through there and blow or wash down the debris and sharp objects off to the side of the road. Riding through that, obviously, is going to increase your chances of a tire puncture. Also, in the middle of cross intersections, you know, where cars are changing from one lane or one direction to another, and then you have that one untraveled area in the middle that tends to collect all the debris from old car accidents or something falling off a vehicle, and it just kind of collects there. You don't want to ride through that. Now, if you are out riding in very desolate areas that have a lot of cactus and prickly pear, sharp rocks, flint rock, things that can actually dig into your tire and cause a catastrophic failure. If you're going to be riding in areas like that, I would recommend carrying an extra inner tube inside your bag or backpack, whatever you're wearing and have with you. Now, I highly recommend that you get familiar with how to use your tire repair kit. Watch a couple of videos on how to use these tools to take off a tire and put in a new inner tube. Because there may be that one time that there's going to be a big slice in your inner tube caused by a very large sharp object that the slime is not going to be able to repair. And you're going to have to replace that inner tube. So put those protections in place in your tire, have your repair kit on hand, and carry a spare inner tube with you should you really be out there riding it hard. And the chances are probably very good that you're gonna return home with the same air in your tire that you left with. So have fun, be safe, and I'll see you out there.